hello all of you today we are going to discuss a simple project in python number prediction game so this is absolutely for beginners so let's start with coding first we have to create a random number for that we are importing random so next assigning random value we equal to random dot this is for rand init so here I'm designing one to ten So let's run this script. See nine came three eight. So this is simple getting a random number. So this is actually how aim is user will enter a number, we'll check it out that number is correct or not. So allowing user to predict the number so that's what our game so for that we have to write a function first we have to get input from the customers number equal to input enter a number doing one to ten the number to predict the number between one to ten to predict so here we got that value next is we have to print number So eight is print. So we have two parties over. We are getting randomly we are generating in the system and we are getting the value from the customers. So next is we have to define a function to evaluate that define check predict. So this is a function. We are going to define a function here. So function normally we start with df keyword with function name this is function function name you can give any name any of instead of check prediction you can give prediction or something anyone any name you can give this is the argument and after that you have to add column and uh, here intent you can see the space is there right after define some space will be there that means inside the function we are defining we don't have brace and all here in Python, so we are using like, like this spacing to separate the values and code. So here we have number. Next is we are giving if condition if value equal to equal to number means the value equal to number means you have to print yes awesome Your prediction was correct. Your prediction is correct.
else after else also you have to give in there and spent preparation was sorry direct number is value so here you have to call this function how we call this function you have to call like this I'm running this script and the number between 1 to 9 here I am adding 7 check priority is not defined so we have to call after the function so we have to declare this function on the top of the number I'm adding 7 so the correct number is 2 so this is like prediction I added 8 output was 8 so the number is correct so I am resetting the kernel again and I have to run the script again so the number was So this is the prediction, small prediction, this thing. So next is, now I'm going to try change these things until I'll get the correct answer, I have to try. For that, I'll write this as a function. Define. Predict. Um, is also a function. You are starting then. Number is this. And we are calling this function inside this. Then we are calling here. Let's see what will happen. The number to predict 1 to 7. seven. So the correct was, number was 2. So this correct number was two. So here you have to call this function again. The number we doing five. Four I added. So the number was four. So actually the number is four only. But why I got that message? Because you should calculate as integer because it's getting as a string. So you have to use eval. Six. So the number was four. Four. So the correct number is 3 so we have to remove restart kernel because it is executing inside the loop it's calling again and again so restarting kernel kernel restarted and will run I add a 4 so the number was 10 you will add 10 your prediction is correct so you got the answer for what we did we'll check it out we have two function check predict and predict number so predict number is simply getting that value from the customer so previously we have input it will get string value and all so we want to calculate it as an integer so evaluate we are given 
then you are calling check predict then it will call the check predict here so it will check it out with the number if number is true it will return otherwise it will call the function again again use ask the user to predict number so it will call again the predict number and it will ask for the number to predict it will continue till the process is number is equal to the user number the prediction was correct until the prediction is correct this will continue because it's calling each others it's calling this function and it's calling again this function until value will be true so this is a simple prediction calculator hope you will understood this if any doubt you can comment in the video section thank you for watching me